Turn with me to the book of Romans, third chapter. We'll be pulling one verse, and that's verse 23. That's Romans 3, 23. And when you have it, wood rest upon your feet. I'll be reading the living translation. For everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. Amen. You may have your seats. If I had to title today's message, it's simply, we all fall. Mm. Conversation. Amen. Amen. A few days ago, I was uh, watching TV, and I saw this commercial come on. And it was a commercial of an ice skater. And as I watched her skate, I noticed that every time she tried a certain move or uh, a certain type of uh, skill, uh, she would slip and fall. And as I continued to watch her skate, skate, God pointed out the similarities in her falling to our falling in our spiritual journey. Amen. Just like this ice skater, sometimes we slip and fall. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. I don't care how saved you are, how long you've been saved, mm -hmm. or how hard you pray, sometimes we just slip and we fall. Mm -hmm. He showed me that there are different types of falls also. Just like this skater, Sometimes when we fall, we are able to recover quickly. Mm -hmm. Young people, listen to me today. I'm, what I'm going to share with you today is going to help you through this spiritual journey. Amen? Mm -hmm. Sometimes when we fall, we're able to recover quickly. For instance, um, you know how sometimes when you fall and you feel some pain when you fall, but you just kind of jump right back up real quick? Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. Those are those falls that we can recover from quickly. Uh, for instance, in our spiritual walk, um, we might overeat. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? And so we'll overeat, but we'll catch ourselves, and even though we sin, we can quickly say, Lord, forgive me, <coughs> I overeat, and we can move on. Amen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number two, sometimes when we fall, it's hard to recover. As I looked at this ice skater, sometimes when you fall, you may get a deep bruise in your thigh, or you might twist an ankle. Mm -hmm. And when you have those types of falls, it's a little harder to get up. Amen? Amen. Uh, just like Peter, for example, looking at it from a spiritual standpoint, when Peter denied Christ, after telling Christ he would never leave him. Amen? Mm -hmm. Peter denied him, and it was hard for him to recover. It took him a few days to get himself yeah. back on track. Amen? Mm -hmm. This hindered Peter from his ministry. Young people, understand this. There will be times in your life when you will slip into sin and you will hurt someone close to you. That's one of those falls where it's going to be a little hard to recover from. Mm -hmm. Amen? Because it takes a while for hearts to mend. Amen? And to be patched up. Amen. Sometimes we fall, it seems like you can't recover at all. For example, if a skater does a particular move, he may fall or she may fall and break a leg or break an arm. Amen? Those types of falls require them to get some assistance from someone else. Amen? Just like David, when David sinned with Bathsheba, this was a major sin in his life, and it took him almost a year to recover from this fall. Amen? Mm -hmm. Young people, there will be times in your life when you fall, and you will feel like your heart has been torn apart. You will feel like you have denied God, just like Peter did. There will be times in your life when you fall, and you will feel like, I can't recover. I can't get up. I can't move over. Those are the times in your life when you have to seek out your parents. You have to seek out your uncle that you're close to or your aunt that you're close to. You have to talk to your best friend. But more importantly, you got to take that time and you've got to go and talk to God. Amen? Amen? Because it's only through him that you'll be able to get yourself back up and move on with your life. Amen. Amen. This one is more important than the other three to me. Sometimes your fall 
is caused by someone else. Mm. Did y'all hear that? Sometimes your fall is caused by someone else. This type of fall is dangerous. Not only will it keep you where you are, but sometimes it seems like it will never end. Uh, for example, a skater can get pushed down. Mm -hmm. And the person that pushes this skater down says, it's your fault. Amen? Amen. In the spiritual, sometimes we fall victim to someone else's sin, like incest, rape, mm -hmm. molestation. And they point at us and say, it's your fault. It's your fault. And after hearing this over and over again, you begin to believe that you actually committed the sin. Mm -hmm. So from your childhood on through your adulthood, mm -hmm. you're sitting in a place where you can't move on mm -hmm. for a sin that you did not commit. <laughs> did y'all hear that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Young people, Teach. that's the sin, that's the fall that you will more likely face that will try to destroy your life. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. Look, don't allow anyone, anybody, to tell you that it's your fault when you know in your heart that you didn't do it. Amen? Amen. 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 So I, I, I know you're saying, well, well preacher, dang on, you, you're telling us all these faults. How? How? How do we get past this? Come on. Number one, you got to confess your sins in Christ. Yeah. Young people, it is evident you will fall. I don't care how old you get, you will fall. Your parents still fall. Amen. Your friends still fall. Your pastors, we still fall. Why? Because we're just humans, just flesh. We make mistakes. So the first thing you got to do in order to get past those falls is confess your sins to Christ. Number two, you have to repent. Let me give you. Let me make, make sure I make this clear to you. A lot of times you hear us older people say you got to ask God for forgiveness. Yes, you do, but you got to do more than just asking for forgiveness. You got to repent also. Mm -hmm. Amen. Why do I say that? Because repenting means you're going to tell God that I'm not going to do it again. That means I'm going to turn from what I'm doing wrong and start doing right. Mm. Amen? So don't mm. just go to him and ask for forgiveness. You got to repent and turn away. Because if you keep going back for the same thing, mm. he's going to understand that, you know what? They really ain't got this in their heart. Mm. Amen? Then he's going to turn around and spank you a little bit. You're going to continue to go through mm. and go through until you learn the lesson. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Number three, you have to receive God's forgiveness. We serve a God that loves us so much. Yes. He sent his only son to die on the cross for us, for the sins that he knew we were going to commit. He knows we're going to fall. He created us. So that's why he gives us this out. He says, all you got to do is confess to me and accept my forgiveness. One of the hardest things for you to do is to, number four, is to forgive yourself. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Did y'all hear that? After God has done all that he's done for us, we allow us not forgiving ourselves to keep us stuck in a rock in a hard place. Mm. Amen. Amen. You have to forgive yourself. And generally it's going to be for that fall of sin that you did not commit. Mm. Amen. Do y'all do y'all understand that? Do y'all y'all get that? Mm. People will place their problems on you. And expect you to carry their burdens, but you can't. Amen. You got to give all that stuff to Jesus. Got to give it all to God. Yeah. When you make a mistake, say, God, I'm sorry, I messed up. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You ask Him to forgive you. Then you got to repent. Say, you know what? I'm not doing this again. I'm not going down this path again. I'm not drinking alcohol anymore. I'm not doing drugs anymore. I'm not going to be promiscuous anymore. Mm. Amen. 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 But more importantly, you got to forgive yourself. Yeah. Number five, you have to pray, and you have to ask God to help you hear his voice. Because he's always talking. We're just too busy, and we're distracted by all these things in the world. Free. Cell phones and tablets and yes, texting sir. and 
you know, music and all these things distract us when God is trying to tell us, don't go there, don't do that, but we can't hear him. So you got to ask God to help you get past all these gadgets and, and you know, all the chitter chatter so you can hear God when he's trying to give you some direction. got saved at an early age, back way back in 1972. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I, I went to church constantly, consistently, um, but I failed. Uh, back in my day, I was a pretty good athlete, and I loved basketball. You know, my dreams and aspirations was to play professional basketball. Went to college, and I began to fall, began to slip into temptation. Started to see things I'd never seen before, and I began to drink, began to do drugs. And there were several times where I went back and I said, God, forgive me. God, forgive me, but I never repented. Mm. You see what I'm saying? I never repented. Even though I was sincere in asking him to forgive me, God understood that, but I, I, I didn't want to change. Mm. And until you repent, repentance... <coughs> causes change. When you're able to repent, you've made up in your mind that I don't want to do this anymore. So I failed. Uh, finally, uh, I started blaming myself for the fall, for not making it into that next level after college because I said, you know what? It, it, it's my fault because I was drinking. It's my fault because I was doing drugs. It's my fault because I was out partying that I didn't make it to the next level. And God just showed me this this morning. Uh, I was looking at an, uh, a show last night about Allen Iverson. And this just shows you that, you know what, whatever God has in store for you, he has in store for you. If it was meant for me to be a professional player, that's where I would have ended up no matter what choices I made because it was in his plan. Allen Iverson was a bad guy. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, he had a good heart. But he failed over and over and over again through his entire career. But because it was meant for him to be a professional player, that's where he ended up. So don't allow your falls and don't allow those things that you, you think God has asked you to have. If you don't reach them, you know what? It just may be that it wasn't in your plan. Mm. Sometimes, and I understand this now, my love for basketball was just a platform for me to grow up and become a man that would be able to use basketball as a ministry to influence other people. Amen? Amen. 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 So look at me now. I'm, I'm pastoring. Uh, I've been married for 29 years. Bless the Lord. Amen. I have children. Uh -huh. You know, I, I love my family. But had I not forgiven myself, had I not asked God to forgive me, had I not in turn, had I not received his gift's forgiveness, I probably wouldn't be standing here. Amen? Amen. Amen. God's word for everybody. Amen. Young people, I, I love you. If you've got any questions, you can come ask me after, after church service. Any questions about life. I just feel like if you've got something on your heart today, come talk to me. Amen. i got some things I can share with you. If not, you got Pastor V. You got Minister Woodfield here. You got Sister Nakia. Amen. Amen. Um, Jalen sitting over in the corner. Uh, she's full of wisdom. Amen. 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 I love you all. Amen. 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 Amen.